We begin tonight. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki was asked why Joe Biden thinks there's been a rise in violence against Asian Americans in this country. Here is the press secretary again pointing the finger at former President Trump. Listen. I think there's no question that uh, some of the damaging rhetoric uh, that we saw uh, during the prior administration, uh, blaming, uh, you know, calling COVID, uh, you know, the Wuhan virus or other things, um, uh, led to, um, you know, um, perceptions of the Asian American community that are inaccurate, unfair, uh, have uh, raised, um, you know, threatening, uh, have, has elevated threats against uh, Asian Americans. And we're seeing that uh, around the country. Absolute poppycock. Joining me now, former Republican Georgia State Representative Vernon Jones. Mr. Jones, now, I think these left-wing extremists and their arguments are really devoid of of any intelligence or reason. Am I wrong? Well, first of all, let me say this. You're not wrong. But secondly, I'm a former Democrat, and I'm currently, and I will always be with the GOP. So I'm, I'm, I'm a part of the grand new party now. Um, but you're absolutely correct. You know, let's look at what is happening here. The Democratic Party are using a high-tech method here, and that is they are doing everything they can to keep minorities on their plantation. Why? Because President Trump made it clear in his re-election campaign how he was able to get more minority support than any Republican president in the past 60 years. And for that press conference, press uh, secretary to say what she said, to try to blame uh, what's happening in this particular case in Atlanta without knowing the facts, all that she is saying is, look, here's another minority. Let's pour it on the Republicans. Let's blame it on President Trump. When in fact, that in particular gentleman, and, or I should say the victims, as I understand it, stand to be corrected, was not from China. They're Korean. And so, wait a minute. What did that have to do with the China virus? The China virus is real. That's where it came from, China. But at the same time, when you see them trying to create victims here, they're not victims. That's what they're doing with voter suppression. They're saying that black people, white liberals are saying that black people need to have someone to think for them. Oh, this particular voter suppression legislation, you can't afford an ID. You don't know how to get an ID. Matter of fact, Joe Biden's already said you don't know how to go on the internet to search for COVID. That's why blacks are disproportionately affected by it. But why aren't they standing up for know, white yeah. liberals? They're gonna be subjected to the same election laws. What makes a black person has to have, have to be told this is wrong, but they're not telling white people that is wrong. See, that's the maternal and paternal instinct of white liberals. They think they know what's best for black people. Let me take care of you. Let me do this for you. Matter of fact, let me build you a Habitat house, but not in my community. <laughs> yeah. You know, and hey, look, speaking as a member of the Latino community, I've had to deal with this kind of stuff my entire life from white liberals telling me that they that they think I should support illegal activity because of the color of my skin. Because every single time a Republican or somebody decried illegal immigration, the breaking of law, they said, well, you must be racist. As if every Latino out there supports illegal activity, and that's what liberals think of us. And I think it's it's absolutely disgusting. I want to turn now to calls for Secretary of State of Georgia, Brad Raffensperger, to resign over a Washington Post story that alleged that President Trump said something he didn't say in a phone conversation between someone in Raffensperger's office. Now, Trump seemed to indicate that he believed the unreliable source used by the Washington Post for that fake news story was in Raffensperger's office. Now, tell me if you know anything about this, if who, the identity of this person, and if we find out who this person is inside of Raffensperger's office, should he or that person resign? Well, first of all, the Washington Post has done what many of the media do, liberal media. They come up with head liars. They're not headlines, they're head liars. The Washington Post completely lied on this president. They said they had a source. Well, why didn't they verify their source's information? It would have been easy for them to ask for a transcript from the Secretary of State. And another thing, too, why didn't the Secretary of State, had to, he had to have known about the phone call, he had to have seen this transcript or even listened to it. Why didn't he immediately say, you know what, you know what? this is inaccurate. This is not what the president said. This is what you all assume. Here's the record. Here's the transcript. 
Now you got factual information, but he didn't do it. And see, that is what's bringing this clown over election integrity. When you have the Secretary of State himself there and already cut a backroom deal to change election laws with Stacey Abrams, which he does not have the authority to do, that created it. And then to come and stand by and was intellectually dishonest with Georgians and the media that the president did not say this. So you know what this has come down to? Whatever happens, let's blame it on the president. That's what the media does. And all those media outlets who reported that same story, they were too lazy to do their homework, so they just repeated what another news organization said. And you know what? That's why I said the days of Walter Conkright is over. You have news, you have journalists now who've become completely activists. You know who they support, you know who they don't support. It's not about news. It's about them carrying that same liberal agenda. Vernon Jones, always a pleasure to talk with you, sir. Come back soon here to the Chris Salcedo Show. Hi, Emma Reckenberg here. If you like this video, there's a whole lot more to see on Newsmax TV. You can watch for free right here on our YouTube live stream and be the first one here each time our experts break down real news. Just hit that subscribe button, ring the bell icon, and stay with us on America's fastest growing cable news channel, Newsmax TV.